Hi, I'm Stephanie Bands, VP of Research at AYTN, and I'm going to walk you through some of the more interesting findings from the fourth and fifth waves of our COVID-19 consumer tracker. We're seeing two pretty interesting things happen in parallel over the past two weeks. The first is that for the first time, uh, we're seeing more people who think things are going to get better over the next 30 days rather than worse. This is a question that we ask at the local level, at the national level, and globally. And consistently in these two most recent waves, the lines have crossed and more people are saying better than worse. What's especially interesting is that uh, the percent of people who think things are going to get worse at the local level is in a steeper decline relative to nationally and globally. Only 24% think that things are going to be worse locally in 30 days. So there's definitely some optimism um, going on and the threat of COVID-19 feels somewhat removed or far away for a lot of people. That said, the other interesting thing that's going on in this area is that for the first time since we started tracking, we see the highest levels of concern about the pandemic among people who are aged 30 to 44. When we first started this tracker, concerns were highest among the elderly. And then over time, we saw this kind of bifurcation where under 30 were less concerned than those who were over 30, but among over 30, uh, concern was rather monolithic across age groups. But now we have this sharp distinction between this group that I'll call older millennials and younger Gen Xers, uh, compared to both younger and older adults. And I think it's likely that a lot of this can be explained by creeping economic anxiety. Many people are likely becoming inured to the threat of the virus itself, but the economic impact of COVID is pervasive and it's close to home for a lot of people. To that point, as of this week, uh, we're seeing that fully half of working adults have experienced reduced hours or reduced pay or just total job loss. So turning to some consumer behavior, more consumers indicate that they're stocking up on products this week. It seems that hoarding is back. So um, we can actually see this too in our category level purchase data. We're seeing that very consistent effect of food, cleaning, personal care, and laundry category spend being higher than pre-COVID. And that effect has been there since we started tracking. But even in those categories that have seen spend reduction since the pandemic started, and this is things like hair care, apparel, tech, toys, and crafts, we're seeing a significant uptick in spend this week. We also continue to see a lot of brand switching. It's highest for cleaning products and shelf-stable foods, but it's increasing in a lot of other categories as well. Um, Next week, what we're going to do, and this is actually fielding right now, um, is a deep dive into what consumers think about the new brands they're buying. And if they think that they're going to be sticking with these brands or reverting back to their old brands as soon as they can, we will be sure and keep you posted on that. So those are the highlights for this week. I will be sure and record an update on our next wave. Um, And in between now and then, I hope, of course, that everybody stays healthy and safe. To download a copy of our report, you can visit our website. And of course, just reach out to us if you have any questions about this report or you're looking to run any COVID-19 related research of your own.